Hi everyone, it's Albert. Today let's solve the weekly contest median question, find k's largest xor coordinate value. And before we start, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll be constantly solving good and classic legal questions with clear explanation, animation, and visualization. Now let's look at the question. The question statement, so we are given a 2D matrix of size m times n, and it's consisting of non-negative integers. And we are also given an integer k. And here we define the value of coordinate a, b of the matrix is the x or of all matrix ij, where i is bigger than 0 and smaller than a, and j is larger than 0 and smaller than b. And we are asked to find the k largest value of all coordinates of matrix. And in the four uh, given example, they all have the same uh, input matrix, which is 5, 2, 1, 6. First largest coordinate value is 7, and second largest is 5, third is 4, and fourth largest is 0. And a data constraint for this question, the size of the input matrix will only go up to 1000. And to solve this question, the first thing we have to know is a key characteristics of uh, the XOR operator, which is A, XOR B, XOR A will be equal to B. And with this uh, characteristics, we can use dynamic program to solve this question. And the DP transition equation is DPRC row and column, which is the coordinate value of the matrix will be equal to uh, DP R minus one C X or DP R C minus one X or DP R minus one C minus one. And then finally X or the cell value of the matrix matrix RC. So we can generate the X or coordinate value matrix. And then we append each cells value to a rest array. And finally we will sort the rest array and get the K largest value. And the time complexity of this approach will be big O of m times n times log m times n because we need to sort the rest array at the end. And since the data size of the matrix will only go up to 1000, so this approach will work just fine. Now let's look at the code. The code is pretty short and concise. So basically, we just iterate through every row and column in matrix and then implement the DP transition equation. And here we can just modify the input matrix directly and then append the DP value to the rest array. And at the end, we'll sort the rest array and then return the kth largest value. Now let's see the code in action. Okay, and here is the input matrix, 5, 2, 1, 6. And they are the same for all examples. And then we will start to calculate the coordinate value for each cell based on the DP transition equation here. So the first cell, 5, will still re remains 5. And then we will append 5 to the rest array. The second cell, the coordinate value will be 5 x or 2, which is 7. And we will append 7 to the rest array. The third cell, the coordinate value will be 5 x or 1, which is 4. And then again, append 4 to rest. And the last cell, it will be 6 x or 4 x or 7 and then x or 5 which is 0 and then append 0 to rest and at the end we will sort rest and then the first largest value in rest is 7 which is the output for example 1 and the second third and fourth largest value in rest is 5 4 0 which are the output for other examples and this will conclude the algorithm. 
Finally, let's review. So the key intuition to solve this question is the key characteristics of the XOR operator, which is A, XOR B, XOR A will become B. And based on this, we can generate the DP transition equation here. So we can generate the XOR coordinate value matrix, and then we append each sales value to a rest array. And at the end, we can sort the rest array and get the k largest value. And the time complexity of this approach is big O of mn log mn, because the size of the rest array is m times n, and we have to perform sorting on it. And the space complexity will be big O of m times n. And that will be all for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next one.